Okay, so welcome to this little video so you can get to know a bit more about the people behind Whispers of Love, brand new orphanage, which you can see behind us. So who is here in this video? We've got Kat, Catherine Smith from the US, and we've got Lillian here from Uganda. Catherine, do you just want to introduce yourself, a bit about yourself, quickly? Yeah, so my name is Catherine. I am from the US, Georgia. Um, I am currently living here in Uganda where I've been here almost six years um, and I am one of the directors of Whispers of Love. We're currently taking care of children inside of the orphanage um, and then we have a few other projects going on. Mm -hmm. um, and can you just tell me, sorry, so you've been here six years and you've also, you're in the process of adopting a child yourself. Yes, right? so hopefully Aww. by the end of this year yep. um, the adoption will be finalized. Yep. And um, <laughs> yeah. How old is your child? He is six and his name is Christian. And how long have you had him living with you? Um, almost four years. Amazing. Yeah. Aww. And then um, Kat, tell us, you're also a, a missionary here. You're supported by the church in the U.S., right? Yes. So um, I am here because of my church in the U.S., Community Bible Church. Okay. Um, Which yeah. part of the U.S. are you from? Georgia. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> and, and then we have Lillian. Do you want to introduce Lillian? How did you find Lillian? Yeah, so Lillian is currently working with us. She helps us with everything um, from administrative levels to even helping out on the farm. So um, Lillian has been a friend of mine ever since I came to Uganda. Aww. I've known her for a while. So she's recently just joined us full time. And, yeah. Um, well, Lillian, what were you doing before joining Kat and Rachel? Before joining Catherine and Rachel, uh, I was doing midwifery work. You're a midwife. Uh, I love it. Uh, so I was working with some hospital in Uganda. Yep. And uh, I really loved it. I loved like saving lives of women, like giving birth, and it was so interesting. So obviously you're about to leave that and start working here full time with Kat and Rachel helping to run this orphanage, right? Exactly. So tell us what you're most excited about. I'm so excited because Rachel and Catherine have been my friends. We've been working so, so together. Uh, I can't wait to join them full time, working yeah. together, like yeah. helping out the babies, helping out a lot of things. You might be delivering babies. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, well, you obviously I'm have. Ready because <laughs> sometimes you can go in the field and like maybe you find a woman, a woman like with labor pains and is due to give birth and you can give a hand. And, and maybe recently deliver. had, yeah, we recently had a teenage mm -hmm. mom and yeah. Lynn was there. She helped deliver. Um, Actually, the I delivered Sarah. Oh, that's amazing. Mom, that so good. Like, Congratulations. So girls, tell us a bit more about this orphanage because, you know, you're going to welcome how many children here when it opens in a few weeks? Yeah, so we are able to hold 50 kids. Yeah. Um, comfortably yeah but obviously um we can add a few more beds if needed for emergencies um so we are hoping to keep um ages zero to five yep um in this house so that's from one day old to five years but obviously we right now have kids over the age of five so mm -hmm. um but they will receive schooling from here um any like physical therapy that they may need mm. um so we have 24 7 staff yeah that will be here with them taking care of them and your children literally i mean you've had ch babies come here from like two days old right yeah, yeah even a few hours old like they still have their umbilical cords attached yes, or, <laughs> yeah so yeah anytime yeah. like um, Gosh. they can join us yeah. and then your idea is that at school age which is five approximately they will go yeah. to the local school here that you also are paying for right so this yeah. is all funds that you are obviously looking for the kindness of, of those to be able to contribute towards right yeah, for yes. sure yeah. So, girls, tell us a bit more about this land we're standing on. Oh, God. <laughs> tell us. This is an amazing land, and uh, we're currently doing some farming on it. Farming, okay, yeah. Uh, yes, that's agriculture. Yeah. And we are doing a lot of cropping around. Yeah. And the, the vegetables, cereals, a lot of things like we are doing on this land. Yeah. And apparently, it's helping both the babies yep. and the babies' home. And uh, the women around, like more so about the financial literacy with them, like whatever they grow, they we share. Like, yeah. They give to their baby's home, and then they also sell 
to get something. So which women are these? Sorry, which women? I'm confused. Women from our community. Right. Women from okay. Our community. Right. So these are not the mums of the children. These are just women around this around. area. Uh, Probably you're even seeing walk into these videos here. Yeah. You know, so some of the ladies over there just kind of congregating, so wondering what yeah. we're doing. Mm. So you're actually putting. A real opportunity into their lives because they don't have any hope they don't have any salaries so you're actually educating them we educating them and uh, I think our main aim is uh, empowering them Aww. that they can always do something for themselves besides Amazing. all the circumstances because they've been sitting home yeah doing nothing yeah so when we brought them together to help us with gardening yeah we had to form a group of women okay and we're currently having 10 women around us yeah and they've done so amazing work to so what are we looking at what what crops are we looking at here so we're having the purple eggplants yep and that's so nutritious to our babies uh -huh. and then we're having like the cabbages you can see the maize you yep. can see the spinach a lot of them. So the idea is this will feed the children, but it will also earn an income for these women of the village. Yes. And then you also said you're encouraging them to put money towards savings, right? Yes. And yes. So do... currently they've created a group. Yeah. So all of them, they're earning some money from working here. So we ask them to put a certain percentage back into savings. So that savings is kept um, separately and then if they ever need have an immediate need they can request for money out of their savings and they pull it out but they're all holding each other accountable in the savings group and yeah then, um, and what kind of savings are they putting together like monthly what kind of money are we talking <laughs> it's very small <laughs> very small but for them it's big so you're looking at someone er earning 30 us dollars a month yeah and maybe they're saving four us Right, so they're putting so, four US dollars yeah, of their savings, ten yeah, percent. That's um, that's Amazing. a lot for them. So yeah, um, some little money, but it's it all helps. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah. actually, still about the saving. We are aiming at a lot of projects out of the savings. Yeah, we looking at helping them. Like after they have helped in the garden, evening time they can go for tailoring. They can go for basket weaving. Aww. So we are looking at a lot of projects yeah. to help them like and mm. living as women. Girls, you're absolutely amazing. We will also meet Rachel in a bit. But let me ask you something. For those watching this video that are looking, you know, watching from overseas, they don't know anything about life in Uganda. They don't know so much about what you do, but they want to get involved. They want to help the children give back and they want it to be with a legitimate organization. You know, what, what would you encourage them to be, you know, looking out for or perhaps how their contribution can help immediately for you and the children? Yeah, so um, very soon we're hoping to be moving into the house um, and we are going to need a ton of new beds, um, new equipment in the home because where we are we've been renting. Yeah. Um, so if you head over to our website you can easily put in your email um, and we're soon launching a pretty big campaign to get moved into the house mm -hmm. um, and then there's always needs around. Yeah. Like, well, uh, nappies and yeah, milk, milk and uh, formula, we're formula. spending so much. And then food, we're trying to grow most of it, but we still yeah. have to buy some. And then you got a kit, a new kitchen, right? Yeah, we need a new kitchen. Um, actually, this land is eventually going to be um, buildings, but right now we're using it for farming. So yeah. we're hoping to put a pretty big kitchen here that can feed the home, but also feed others in the community. Okay, so, amazing. And I think in addition to that, like we are looking at equipping the sick bee for the babies. Oh, yeah. yes. So we need a lot of things like to equip the, the medical the clinic, medical yeah. clinic yeah. for yeah. the babies. Uh, yeah. We plan to put up a big hospital for the babies, but currently we need to equip the sick bee with a lot of like stethoscope, mm -hmm. weighing scales, Medication. Medication. It's just endless, isn't a it? Lot. It's endless. Like a lot. And then let me um, ask another question again for those watching this video. So, if people want to come and give their time and contribute, like they want to be building something or contributing, like, you know, coming out here to Uganda to stay and help with the children, what is it that you think is really valued by you and the children the most? Yeah, I mean, our kids love just having more people around and our caretakers. Our mamas in that home, they like when people come around and just help with basic yeah. washing or cooking or yeah. just being with the kids. Um, but then also, like, there are so many 
other beneficiaries that we have that are needy in the communities that need renovations to their house done or um, anything. So there are tons of needs for people to come and help with. You've I got think. a big list, haven't yeah, you, Kat? Yeah, a big list. Yeah. So, um, like Aww. anything. Yeah. Is, but just being with the kids and teaching them new life experiences and yeah. they get to meet new people I think is always just really Aww. great. Thank I'm you so much, doing. girls, for doing this video. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick walk around. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually going to just introduce you to Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hello. So you missed on the video because you have your little second adopted child. What's her name? Chisachi. Chisachi. And how old is Chisachi? She's six months. Oh, look at her. And how old was she when you adopt? Well, you're in the adoption process now, yes. but how old was she when you got her? One week. One week. And where did she come from? Do you mind sharing her story? Yes. So she was referred because her mother is mentally ill oh. and the baby was malnourished. She was 0.9 kilos. When you say mentally ill, what does she have? Schizophrenia and epilepsy. So like, the baby literally was just left, right? Yes. Oh, look at her new life with you, Rachel. Yeah. This little girl does not realize how lucky she is. Look at you. <gasps> You're gorgeous. And Rachel, tell us, um, what is it that you love to do most here within the orphanage with the children? Just engaging with the kids, yeah. doing games and activities, things to enhance their life, teaching them how to be functioning members of society and you're much more like the emotional side the side you're are you a psychologist yes I'm yeah a psychologist. that's amazing yes. so you're really good at understanding the children's emotional needs yes um oh look she's so cute <laughs> um, and rachel's also been here you're from georgia right yes and you've how long have you been in uganda rachel almost three years oh yes. so there you have it these are the amazing women that are inspiring so many more to get involved and I'm just going to carry on because I think she's you wanting you wanting some something to drink maybe <laughs> but just check out this land um, and you can see look you know the, the farming tomatoes here and it's all the farmland but there's just so much to do and by the way I did ask what's to stop people coming in and stealing the food and their answer was well there isn't and so they're actually building a wall here so that eventually but all of these things need money and resources right let's check out the chili here we go fresh chili so they're going to be self-sustainable which is amazing so anyway thank you for watching this video and uh, get in touch i'll put all the details below in this video thank you so much god bless you all of you for your help and contribution these children are so grateful